What up, what up, what up, what up, and what it do? Welcome back to The Way I See It with Jamario Rashad. Coming at you with my NFL Week 4 picks. Without further ado, let's get right into it. So, first, I'm going to pick the Buccaneers to beat the Chargers. Brady over Herbert any day, of course. Secondly, uh, these are two 0-3 teams. I'm disappointed in both of them, especially Deshaun Watson. Uh, but this this week, he's going to move to 0-4. I'm going to go with uh, Kirk Cousins and the Vikings to beat the Texans. And them boys versus the Browns, I'm going to go ahead and say that the Browns will uh, move ahead to 3-1 and one and beat the Cowboys. So I'm going with the Browns over the Cowboys. Uh, Joe Burrow gets his first win over the Jaguars and Gardner Minshew. Uh, The easiest pick of the week is Russell Wilson over the Miami Dolphins. We still don't know when we'll see Tua, but hey, he would lose also. Uh, My Carolina Panthers, I love them so much, but they will be losing this week to Kyler Murray and the Arizona Cardinals trying to bounce back after a disappointing performance last week. Moving forward, uh, Nick Foles and his first start against um, against Phillip Rivers and the Colts. I am going to pick the Bears to go ahead and stay undefeated. I believe in Nick Foles, and I believe this is the year that he earns that starting spot for good. Uh, nobody in their right mind would pick the Giants in this game, so I'm going to go with the L.A. Rams easily over the lowly Giants because obvious reasons. Uh, Buffalo versus the Raiders. I'm going to go with Josh Allen. He has been playing amazing this year. Uh, although Derek Carr and Gruden do seem to be getting it together, I, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, I do believe that the Bills are just uh, a better team, and they will show it this week. Uh, the Ravens and Lamar Jackson, after getting pretty much embarrassed on Monday Night Football, are sure to come out and take their frustrations out on the Washington football team, which is still hard to say sometimes. So, of course, Ravens over Washington. And in the game of the week and possibly the game of the year, my favorite quarterback, my quarterback, Cameron Jarrell Newton and Bill Belichick and Foxborough and the New England Patriots. <laughs> I prolonged it too low. The New England Patriots versus uh, Money Man Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. I am going to go with the upset here. I am going to pick the Patriots on the road to give the Chiefs their first loss of the season. I know a lot of people won't be expecting that, but hey, man, it's Bill Belichick and Cam Newton is looking great this season. Uh, Moving forward, Carson Wentz has been absolute trash this year. That's why I will be picking against him, of course. The 49ers looked amazing, uh, although that may have been against the, again, the lowly... um, Big Ten <laughs> New York Giants, but I'm going to pick them to beat the Eagles, too. The NFC just sucks. I don't think I picked a single. Yeah, I picked the entire NFC to lose this week. That's wild. But, yes, I'm going to pick the NFC. Ah, ah, ah. I'm going to pick the 49ers over the Eagles. Uh, in the late game, which is Monday night, uh, I expected to be a shootout. Matt Ryan and the Falcons against... The Green Bay Packers and that bad man, Aaron Rodgers. But, of course, I'm going to go with the Packers. They're going to be at home. I expect it to be at least 60 points put up, at least 30 on both sides. But I am going to take the Packers. And finally, in the early game, I I am going to pick Drew Brees to bounce back against the Lions. Michael Thomas is expected to be back this week. So it should be fireworks. So let's go, Drew Brees. And... You should go with my picks if you're betting because I am the best YouTuber. I am the best predictionist. I am the best all that. And I get you paid. So go ahead, subscribe beforehand. And especially if I win you some money, you got to subscribe. So I'll I'll let you all later. Make sure you subscribe again for the third time I'm saying it. And I'll talk to you all Sunday after the games. Peace.